Hello, my name is Dr. Emma J. Wells, and I'm a lecturer in Medieval and Reformation Era Ecclesiastical and Architectural History at the University of York. And I'm Dr. Claire Kennan, a medieval historian specialising in late medieval popular piety, parish guilds and towns. And we are also the co-editors of the new Breffel series, entitled Reinterpreting the Middle Ages from Medieval to Neo. The aim of this series is to provide a new publication platform for interdisciplinary studies of the Middle Ages. That is research which analyses the impacts and approaches to the study of the medieval era from its origins to the present day, to create a unique dialogue between scholars, professionals and practitioners. In moving away from traditional approaches and towards the inter and multidisciplinary, the premise is to gain a snapshot of how and why the Middle Ages have been formed and how and why they're perceived across fields as well as across vast periods of change, countries, boundaries and borders, to continue driving and moulding this innovation through the examination of the phenomenon and the movement of the traditional or neo form, its historiography, its representation, image, presentation and pedagogies. The series also offers radical, exciting, informed and innovative readings of the importance and prominence of the Middle Ages in the 21st century how and why its significance has endured since the post-medieval era, and most importantly, how critical curiosity of the era has been received, imagined, invoked, used, abused, and refashioned in the medieval, the early modern, modern, and contemporary periods, also to speak. Rich collisions and fresh perspectives reveal ideas and exercises across centuries of practice, and provide a new set of reference points that reframe the medieval itself, thereby presenting a fresh, broad and representative picture of the deep connections between the modern and the pre-modern world. Titles will cover all forms of engagement with the more emerging field of neo-medievalism, at least as a revivalist sub-discipline over the last two generations. From the academy to modern pedagogies and constructs in popular culture, and from a multitude of fields, including history, art, architecture, archaeology, literature, musicology, public engagement and interpretation, digital humanities and heritage. Welcoming burgeoning topics such as film and TV too, and video games, social media, performing arts, cinema, drama, and particularly education, race, gender and decolonization, as well as traditional approaches, including historiography and Renaissance and revival studies, it's based on the premise that the Middle Ages should be cultivated within and expanded beyond the academy, thereby bringing the media, education, popular, historical and political discourses into an engagement and dialogue with the past. This series calls for contributions from those who wish to examine the dynamics of the medieval or neo-medieval in the realms of representational, perceptual, pedagogical and historiographical practice over the last 1500 years or so. This series calls for contributions from those who wish to examine the dynamics of the medieval, neo-medieval in the realms of representational, perceptual, pedagogical and historiographical practice over the last 1500 years or so. Though most Europeanists would broadly adhere to the 500 to 1530 time span, the object of the series is to overcome such categorization. And therefore, we prefer not to provide a defined epoch for what is often termed as the Middle Ages. The scope of the series is thus largely global. We welcome contributions in the English language from both English speaking and non English speaking countries. Contributions are particularly warmly welcomed from outside continental Europe, notably Asia, South America, and Africa. Monographs are also sought from contributors who may wish to examine changes to the periodic and disciplinary definition, particularly in contemporary society, and thus its dynamism in modern pedagogies. We have several volumes already forthcoming. These include Bringing Sexy Back, Manipulating the Medieval as Other, which considers how the Middle Ages, and indeed the Gothic style particularly, have been used as a crutch upon which to portray the wider historical period as a time of lawlessness, barbarianism and brutality, and therefore repeatedly appropriated and even repackaged as such in accordance with changing priorities into a sexy topic to entice both academic and popular culture objects of critique alike. This has called for new avenues of inquiry into the ways we think about the medieval, leading thus to its neo-reinvention. 
We also have Decoding the Medieval, Teaching the Medieval in the Modern Age, which will explore the teaching of medieval studies in a variety of contexts, from formal learners in the academy to informal learning in museums and at heritage sites, and the democratisation of knowledge via the internet. It will address the question of how the Middle Ages has been taught in the past and the emerging digital-born pedagogical techniques of the 21st century. A further volume on the reception of medieval art in contemporary art and art history is also forthcoming. And our international and interdisciplinary editorial board comprises a wealth of world-renowned specialists in fields of literature, archaeology, language, history, digital media, drama, and pedagogies of the medieval and neo-medieval global world, who support us in evaluating all proposals. We now welcome proposals for monographs and edited collections. Please do get in touch if you think the series may be fit for your publication. You can find out more information on our website, which is run in conjunction with our associated seminar series, What is Medieval? You can find us at medievaltoneo.wordpress.com. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Thank you.